In this video, I'm gonna show you the correct way to string a bow incorrectly. So nobody really likes to use these stringers. I mean, you can see that I really care about mine because there's this spaghetti knot in there already. So, you know, we'll just ignore those and I'll show you how to string a bow, how just about everybody does that shoots at a high level. You're watching the Jay Kaminsky YouTube channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Jake Kaminsky. I'm a two-time Olympic silver medalist in the sport of archery. I'm working on making this channel a great resource with lots of different information for the sport of archery. There's a tuning series, a form series, and a strength training series all for the sport of archery. So if you haven't by now, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. I'd appreciate it very much. And you don't want to miss out on any of the videos that are coming out in the future. Now in all seriousness, this is definitely not the optimal ideal way to string your bow. You really should use a stringer. It is definitely the best way, the safest way, not only for you as well as your equipment to string your bow. Uh, I'll tell you some horror stories that I've seen as well as stuff that I've actually had happen to me while I'm stringing my bow the way I'm about to show you. Um, you know, I might get some flack for even showing people how to do this. However, people out there do it all the time. It's pretty scary, and I see them do it wrong all the time, especially parents. So um, if you have somebody that you've seen do it, send them this video so it'll kind of clear the air a bit. But like I said, I'm just trying to show people how to do it. If they're going to do it anyway, they might as well know the best way to do it without hurting themselves and without hurting their equipment. So the way that a stringer works is there's two pieces to it. There's the lower piece that clips on the limb tip, and then there's another piece that snaps onto the limb itself so you have room to actually slide the string down the actual uh, limb. Or there are others that connect both on just the limb tip, so you still have access to the string. But let's be honest, sometimes people lose them, sometimes people don't like them, um, and if you're gonna do it this way without a stringer, I'll show you how to do it properly. So before I get into showing you how to actually do it, we need to talk about safety. And in order to talk about safety, I'm just gonna go right into the horror stories that I've heard of, as well as the things that I've seen and the things that has happened to me. The worst thing that I've heard of is people's hands slipping off the side of the limbs and the limb coming back and whacking them in the face, specifically in the eye. And I've heard of people actually losing their eye because of the limb tip gouging their eye out. A way that you can prevent your eyes from being gouged out is to simply not look at the limb while you're stringing it. So I can look at you while I'm unstringing it, and I can also look at you while I'm stringing it, so I risk no damage in losing an eye. I still could get whacked in the head by the limb if my hand slips off, so I make sure my hand's not too sweaty, not too slippery, you know, I'm not doing it in the rain, things like that, because Ultimately, you really need to be in control of how your hand is sliding up the limb itself. Another thing that can happen is you can pop this upper limb out of the pocket. That has happened to me, actually, and it happened the first time I went to string a formula bow. I, as I was stringing and sliding my hand up the limb to push the, you know, the string up on the limb tip, the limb popped out like this and I was pulling full force towards me as the limb broke out and I slammed my sight against my stomach and I actually broke my sight pin off and I had pretty nasty wounds on my stomach from my sight being dug into me. Luckily that happened in practice and not at a tournament so I didn't have to worry about replacing my sight pin. It still hurt a whole lot. So the way I used to string them is I would hold on to the grip and string it like this. Now I've realized you can hold the limb in the bow as you're actually stringing it. So. So as I'm doing that, I'm squeezing the riser right here. I'm pushing the limb into the detent, into the pocket, and I'm holding it down. So you'll see this, this right here. On the opposite side of this screw, there's a detent. And so this holds the spring in place. And so this is a great spot to not only push the limb back, but also to hold the limb down into the pocket. So you'll see that my thumb is sitting like this on that bolt, and I'm pushing down and in at the same time, every time I string, and that helps prevent the limb from actually coming out when I'm stringing my bow. So those are really the two main safety factors that you need to be concerned of while you're stringing your bow this way. Um, it's really just the limb popping out and your hand slipping off. Now, as far as 
how to take care of your equipment, that's also a very important thing. There is kind of like a, a myth that says, if you don't use a stringer, you can twist your limbs or permanently twist your limbs. So what they're saying is as I'm stringing the bow and unstringing the bow, I'm twisting the limb as I'm moving it back and forth. In my opinion, uh, I don't think that happens. I've not really seen an issue and the limbs are a whole lot more resilient than that because I can twist and push and pull and bend and do all sorts of stuff to these limbs and it's not damaging them. Um, now, if I were to bend them and put them in a hot car, yeah, that would twist the limbs, but just doing this a couple times, not a big deal. You should see what these limbs do under a high-speed camera as you're letting the string go, and you'll see them flop all over the place. So stringing your bow is the least of the limbs' worries. Another thing that I've seen people do is they step on their limb tip as they go to string. That is not what you want to do. Because if you're stepping on your limb, you're putting a lot of pressure and a lot of force into that limb. You're creating a pinch point on it and you can actually crack the limb itself. So don't step on your limb. All I do is I take the limb tip and I put it on the instep of my foot, on the inside of the instep. And that supports it not only in and out, but also up and down. If you're doing it on sandals, you put it on your bare foot into the instep of your foot and the limb tip won't slip out and you won't be crushing the limb itself. So the easiest way to really do it, like I said, you have to have your string on your bottom limb like this. And then as you go to string the top, you get it so the actual serving is in the center, not off to the side like this. You want it in the center. You hook it on the instep of your foot. And then with your thumb and your index finger, that's gonna be supporting the string itself like this, all right? So what I'm actually pushing on the limb with is this part of my hand or the heel of my wrist. So if you move your sleeve out of the way because your sleeve's very slippery, you can slip off that way. You can see that this part of my hand down here is on the limb and as I go to string, it slides up the limb and I'm hooking the string into the groove by squeezing it like that and then I let down and now my bow is strung. I looked away the whole time. The first few times you're going to want to look at it, but you can do it without looking. I really would never look at your limb tip. Do your best to feel your way there. Practice with a stringer on how it feels. Use your eyes to visually um, say that, yes, I'm hooking the string on, but then pay attention to how it feels. So you can do it eventually while you're not looking at the string itself. To take it off is the same thing. I use my index and thumb and I push with the heel of my hand. I pull into me like I'm shooting. I'm pulling here. I'm not actually pushing here a whole lot. This is more of a stabilizer. This does most of the work as I'm stringing the bow. So as I'm pulling with my right arm, my, bow, my draw arm, I pull that in like I'm pulling the bow back and this is just bracing. It's kind of pushing down a little bit, but it's bracing. And then I grab the string with my thumb and index finger and rotate it off of the limb tip and then let it slide down as I release. So I'll do it in this view for you. I will string again. And then to get it to come off, I pull with my right hand and I use my thumb and index finger to loop the string and then let it slide down. It's that easy to string and unstring. If I was you and you were doing this for the first time, I would practice with just unstringing it. It's a lot safer, a lot easier, because this whole action of actually sliding your hand on the limb can be a bit intimidating. Oh, and after you string your bow, for the love of God, please don't dry fire your bow. To set your limbs in, all you need to do is that. Just a little bit, a couple inches. Don't pull it back to here and let it go. I see so many archers basically dry firing the bow to set their limbs, just a pluck. That's all that you need to set your limbs. I also wanna take a quick moment to take my Patreon supporters. Without them, I wouldn't be able to do as many of these videos that I am doing. I'm pushing out a whole lot more content now, thanks to them. If you're interested in becoming a Patreon supporter, I'll put a card at the top and there'll be a link in the description below as well. There's many different benefits, including early access to these videos, some exclusive inside looks, as well as some coaching as well.
Thanks for watching, and thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you want to become a Patreon supporter or check out books, apparel, and some seminar info, head to jkaminski.com, and uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you again.